It's Tom Kippen uh, well, jumping on here to do a Facebook Live to let you know that we've had a record high temperature today. So record setting heat across upper Michigan today and temperatures are not going to cool off much as we go into tonight. The Weather Service continues a heat advisory for areas in the western UP, basically Marquette County, Menominee County, westward as you head away from the shorelines of the Great Lakes. This is going to continue into tonight and we may have another heat advisory as we go into the daytime on Tuesday. And we'll talk about hot weather safety tips here in just a bit. But as we look at temperatures across the region here, across the Midwest and across the Great Lakes region, you can see we got 88 Sawyer International, 94 Green Bay, 100 degrees in the Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul here. And the reason why we are seeing the very hot temperatures across the Great Lakes Midwest and Upper Midwest is we got an upper level ridge of high pressure here. And it is a strong ridge of high pressure going all the way up into northern Ontario. And that's why we're seeing this heat. As you can see, the trough across the northeastern part of the United States that's bringing in the cooler air from Canada. That's why Boston is only 67 degrees. But as you can see, definitely a strong ridge going into the upper Midwest. And that's why we're seeing 90s and even triple digit heat this far north. As we look at temperatures across the UP, some of these temperatures is where some of the, excuse me some of these temperatures are the hottest they've been all day including Sawyer International 88 degrees 87 for Munising we've been at 97 for Iron Mountain for the past couple of hours a pair of 94s for Land Lakes Wisconsin and Ironwood Houghton is at 96 degrees and even Copper Harbor on the slightly cooler side of what's called but still very warm 88 degrees and we got the dew points to contend with that's why it's humid out there that's why it's very uncomfortable 70 is your dew point at Sawyer International we got 72 with the dew point for Ironwood 72 also for Houghton and when you get a dew point 72 or higher that's when it starts to feel uncomfortable out there and you factor all those factors in that's where you get your high heat indexes we have a heat index of 105 in houghton a heat index of 102 that's what it feels like in ironwood and a heat index of 101 in iron mountain high temperatures today across the up 97 for iron mountain 96 houghton and we had a high temperature today of 94 for both land of lakes wisconsin and ironwood 89 or excuse me 88 was today's high for sawyer international and 88 for munice a little bit cooler in the eastern UP and in fact much cooler in the far eastern UP. That's because we were in the clouds and we had a soaking rain this morning into the early afternoon hours. And in fact, some parts of the eastern UP got over two inches of rain while across the central and west. We didn't see hardly any rain and we got into sunshine quicker and that's why temperatures warmed on up. Officially at the Weather Service today, a record high temperature of 92 degrees. That beat the old record of 88. Low temperature this morning was 60 downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard as of now 82 today's high 54 the low temperature early on this morning and I'm talking after midnight because it started to warm up even as we went through the overnight and early morning hours and then as we moved into the middle to late morning hours we got a lake breeze a generous lake breeze that kind of cooled us off a little bit and then on Marquette's east side we warmed it right back up along the lakeshore and in fact as you headed away from the lakeshore temperatures approached 90 or jumped into the 90s pretty quick. Radar and satellite watching some thunderstorms back on off towards the west here across North Dakota, South Dakota and these rain showers and thunderstorms are going to try to make an attempt later tonight to make it into the western UP. We'll time it all out here with future weather. Severe thunderstorms are expected across North Dakota and Minnesota tonight but these storms will be weakening as they move into areas west of Marquette later tonight and then they'll fizzle on out tomorrow morning as they continue into the eastern UP. Tomorrow afternoon we're going to have a cold front crossing upper Michigan. It's not going to turn us much colder. In fact, really it's all it's going to do is shift the winds around to the west southwest. But still on this front, a couple of storms could fire. It's a slight chance, but if a storm can 
get going tomorrow, get organized, we could really see that storm take off and produce some hail and some strong winds late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, especially in the central UP and eastern UP. Once again, for thunderstorm chances, the chance is small. It's a slight chance, but if a storm can go, get organized, it could turn strong to perhaps severe in terms of maybe some hail and some stronger winds. And then we're dry as we get into Tuesday night, turning a little bit cooler and less humid for a day on Wednesday and then a little bit of a warm up. Not like this, though, for the end of the week with some rain and thunderstorm chances coming. So for those of you just joining us, hopping on in, welcome. Here's what's ahead. We've had a record breaking heat day across Upper Michigan today with a record high temperature officially at the Weather Service of 92 degrees and it's not going to be much cooler tonight and it is going to be humid. Look for low temperatures tonight across the UP to be in the 60s and 70s with the warmest temperatures across the western UP. Gusty winds are possible tonight, especially along the Lake Superior shoreline in Marquette. Berga and also Alger counties. A late night thunderstorm is possible west of Marquette. That complex of thunderstorms that was getting going across the northern plains, that's going to head this way, but those storms will be weakening as they do so. Another very warm to hot day on Tuesday, a slight afternoon thunderstorm chance. Don't count on it to water your lawn, but if that storm can get going, it could get strong if it gets organized and then cooler air, less humid air starts to come in tomorrow night. As we look at hot weather safety, if you have any outdoor plans, if your kids have any recreational stuff going on tonight, make sure they're drinking plenty of water and wearing light colored clothing. If you can hold off on the work tonight, such as cutting the grass or gardening, try to wait till around sunset or a little bit after just so it can cool off a little bit. And make sure you're taking frequent breaks if you're going to be outside in the early evening hours and drinking plenty of water. And this is the most important one. Never leave kids unattended in cars that aren't running, even if they are in shade. That's how hot it is out there. And same with the pets. No cars unattended and avoid asphalt for them. We can wear shoes. They can't make sure like the humans, they're getting water breaks as well. If you're headed out on the water this evening, just a heads up, small craft conditions for Lake Michigan. Also, dangerous swimming currents for Northern Lake Michigan along the Schoolcraft County Lake Michigan shoreline. Otherwise, no issues out on Lake Superior. Weather anytime, if you're on the go, head to our WJMN Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com. We're on Facebook as well at WJMN TV and our 906 Weather Watchers page. And don't forget,